So you are looking uh, to carry a pocket pistol, rather it be as your primary or is it a backup, a secondary pistol, whatever it is, you are in a dilemma because you're hearing different things from different people. And they're telling you, don't carry this, don't carry that. That's too big. That's too small. That doesn't hold enough ammunition. That holds too much ammo, yada, yada, yada. So here we have two different pistols that shoot two different calibers. And these two calibers that they shoot are known lots of times people that conceal carry use these for deep concealment and these two calibers are are are, are rather popular one more popular than the other one being a 32 auto this is a caltech p32 and the other being a 380 auto this is a roker lcp two different calibers and i'll just try to get into a few things you know just to help educate certain people about Okay, 32 AC, 32 auto or 380 auto. What should I carry? Well, it's up to you. It's your personal preference. If you fired both, and I'm pretty sure uh, if these are the two, like not just these two guns in particular, but any gun that, that fires these two calibers that you're considering carrying, I'm assuming that you fired them and you're trying to, you know, figure it all out. So 32 Definitely is a smaller cartridge than a 380. I'm not going to really get into bringing out the cartridges and all that stuff right now. It's a smaller piece, smaller cartridge. I should have did it. I don't have any 380 ammo around me. So that is why I am not showing you. But I can just show you how small the 32 is. These are round balls I carry in this. These are uh, Celia Below round balls. So, yeah, this is a 32, man. Uh, I mean, not the not the biggest round, not the biggest round. You know, uh, a lot of people uh, they gawk at the thirty two. They say it's a it's a puny round for self defense. Uh, it was a seventy seventy one grain bullet versus three eighty average of ninety five grain bullet. Uh, three eighty is a shorter version of a nine, same diameter, just a shorter casing, but. A 32 will shoot you dead, just like a 380. Okay. Loosely put, man, you got the Caltech P32 here. These are just two examples. This holds seven rounds of 32 automatic, seven plus one. So seven in the magazine, and you get uh, one in the chamber for a total of eight rounds. And then you have the Ruga LCP. It comes with uh, it holds six, and they have seven round extended magazines. Uh, we're talking about just flush magazines, nothing that kind of bulges down, and sticks out the bottom of the gun a little. Everything is flush for for deep for deep concealment. Okay, so you got six plus one, so then your your capacity that seven rounds with the uh, LCP. And eight rounds with the P32. So the full capacity of the LCP equals the full capacity of the Keltec magazine. So the Keltec wins when it comes to mag capacity. Definitely wins when it comes to mag capacity. Okay. That's one thing to consider magazine capacity. Do you want to carry more? Does that extra round make a difference to you? Does it not? Would you rather just carry something that's more powerful and willing to lose that extra round or something that's a little weaker, but you get the extra round to give you an extra chance to, you know, uh, get out of a situation? You know, you be the you be the. Uh, the one to choose, you know. The 32. Uh, I, I'm just going to give some advantages and disadvantages of uh, the, the advantages of the 32. In these particular, in this particular weapon, it holds. Say you got a seven round magazine. You can put one in the chamber. You'll have seven plus one and hold eight rounds. The thirty two is a softer shooting uh, caliber out of this gun too. Especially out of a gun this tiny, it's a it's a softer shooting uh, gun. More controllable, so you stay on target more. So you can definitely uh, hit your target faster. 
downside to the 32 is um, yeah, the ammo might be a little bit more pricey than 380. Uh, most experts that do ballistics, they say 32 doesn't really expand well with hollow points. That's the reason why you see me carrying a, a full metal jacket. Then there's the other case of 32 suffering from this thing called rim lock. That's that's an issue they say happens with some 32s. But they say a lot of times it happens with hollow point ammunition. That's another reason why a lot of people carry uh, full metal jacket in the 32 caliber. Okay. Uh, the the round isn't as fast as a 380. Is doesn't it doesn't have the energy? Doesn't deliver the same amount of energy as a 380. So yes, the 32 is a weaker cartridge, no matter how you cut it. Now moving over to the 380 in the Ruger LCP, the pros and the cons you got with the gun and the and the ammunition. As far as the gun, you only hold you only got six rounds in the magazine with this. For a total of six plus one, which is seven rounds total. So you losing a round with this gun versus this one. Also, 380 out of this small gun like this, the Keltec weighs six ounces unloaded. This weighs nine ounces unloaded. And let me before I get into the rest of the specs with the LCP as far as uh, 380 goes and the gun, you can see how how narrow they're both they're both they're both very tiny pistols very tiny but if i could get a good angle here you see right there they're exactly lined up from front to back and you can see the lcp has a longer slide slightly and they're both tiny so this is giving you an idea how small the p32 really is and Obviously, the 380, the Ruger LCP is a little bit wider, just a tad bit wider. Obviously, it has to be because it's holding a bigger caliber. So it has to be a little bit wider. Three eighty is very it's, it's harder to control out of a small gun like this. So consider that uh, it might be too snappy. Uh, so that's something to consider. It might be hard for you to keep on target because the gun is very uh it snaps it's very snappy out of a small platform like this so keep that in mind okay now the 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 the, the pros is the 380 hits harder than the 32 caliber yeah 380 hollow points expand pretty good 380 a little bit cheaper than the 32 and you can find 380 in more places it's more readily available too by the way so yeah that's another call with the 32 is the ammo is the while it's not like totally like scarce, it's gonna be harder to go to a gun store and find you'll find 380 before you'll find 32. All right. So it's it's all it's all down to personal preference, y'all. It's all down to personal preference. And my preference is to carry the 32 because I like the fact that I get the extra round. It's way more controllable than the 380 in these small guns like this. Um, is for me, it's, it's not the, the, the power difference. Okay, cool. I get it, but I'm more of a like, man, I, I want the extra round. I like the extra capacity and I like how smooth the 32 shoots. So I went with the 32 because I, I, I kind of like, I want to keep everything on target that I don't, not to say I can't shoot the third, the, the rule guy LCP. I can, I can shoot it pretty well, but it will definitely be harder to keep on target. Especially and in these two particular guns, I like the slide holds open on a 32 on the last round. That's a that's a bonus. Slide holds open on a 32. Not sure why Keltec did that. They put the slide lock on the last round on the 32. They didn't do it with the P318. Not sure why. The Ruger was able to do it with theirs. How come Ruger, how come Keltec could do it with the 318? I don't know. We never know. I don't even think they make them anymore. I haven't seen any P380s on the market new at all. But that is personal preference, guys. Three thirty-two ACP, three eighty ACP. Most of the time, you'll get more round count with the three with thirty-two. 
Most of the time, you're going to get a lesser round count of 380. Not just in these guns, other guns too. Most 380 pocket pistols hold six rounds for the most part. These micro pistols this size, like the, the Car 380, the Taurus Spectrum, the uh, Sprint the Western Bodyguard, uh, the Diamondback DB 380, uh, what is it, the North American Guardian. Uh, you got a whole bunch of other 380s that's small like this. Um, only the the Glock 42 doesn't count because I know somebody gonna probably say something about the Glock 42. It's not even to me. It doesn't even count because it's much bigger than the LCP. You know, if it was a if Glock made a tiny 380, like around like tiny tiny, then I, it probably would classify. But I don't I don't consider the Glock 42. Glock 42 is in a weird kind of weird class by itself almost, but. These are both great guns, man. Let me know what y'all think, though. What are your preferences? What would you choose between a 32 auto or a 380 auto for self-defense, man? And the reasons why. I just explained to you guys why I choose a 32 over the 380. And I want to hear what y'all got to say. This is Rebel Shooter. I appreciate y'all for watching. Please like. Please subscribe. I'll definitely catch y'all on the next one. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Watch yourselves, watch your friends and family. Be safe out there. I love y'all. Peace.